Take him out. Two balls and a strike to count on Taylor. Reyes fires. Swing and a drive. Deep left field. This is way back. Walk him out. What's up, everybody? Welcome into Dodger Heads, presented by DodgerBlue.com. My name is Jeff Spiegel, joined today by DodgerBlue.com's Scott Gearman. And we, we've taken a little bit of a break. We're slowing down as the playoffs continue to roll on. But, Scott, there has been a gift to people like you and me, which is there are content producers out there on the Dodgers front that need to write things and need to say things. And we don't have to. We just get to react to them. So today we've got a story, Scott, that when I saw the headline, it made no sense to me. When I dug a little bit deeper, it made no sense to me. And so maybe you can explain this to me. But the headline is this, Mookie Betts, second baseman, question mark. Mark Feinstein of MLB.com, who has reported that the Dodgers are going to pursue Aaron Judge, then followed that up with the second piece saying, well, does that mean Mookie Betts could potentially be moving to second base? Aaron Judge taking over in right field. I'm going to reserve my thoughts. I'm going to take a deep breath before I comment on this one, Scott. So I'll let you go first. Mookie Betts, second baseman, Aaron Judge, right fielder. Where you at on this? You know, Mookie Betts did that. That's where he came up with the Red Sox. So, I mean, he could do it. Where totally. do we stand? Yeah, absolutely. We, we, I believe that he could be a gold glover at any position, probably outside of first base, or he might even be able to do a catcher <laughs> shortstop. Definitely. I think he could do it. Uh, I think he could play a great second base and we, we Dodger fans understand that he's athletic enough. We could do it as far as that plan. Of course, they're going to pursue Aaron Judge. Top talent. Dodgers will absolutely be in that. They'll throw their hat, you know, in that ring. Do I like it uh, for an entire season? I don't, I'm not, I'm not necessarily. I would like to have options, but yeah. for a full season, I'm not. I'm not so sure. Yeah, you're saying you're not so sure about Mookie Betts playing second base for a full season. Yeah, it's just. I mean, would it be fine? Would I be like, oh no, like yeah. I would be okay with it. Do I want it? No, I like Mookie Betts in the outfield. I like having. He's contending for another Gold Glove, and he's probably going to win it. So yeah. it's it's okay. It will I like it? I'm not sure so sure yet. But if it brings Aaron Judge, that'd be all right. But I think they should keep Mookie Betts in the outfield. Yeah, look, could Mookie Betts? I'm glad you said this. Could Mookie Betts play a very good second base? Of course he could. Like, there's no doubt that Mookie Betts would be great at second base. Feinstein used a quote that was two and a half months old when he said, when he was asked about playing second base on a day in which he was going to play second base, he said, going to go back there, second base, is just a lot of fun for me personally. I really, really do enjoy it. Now, if you ended the quote right there, this would make the point that everybody wants this quote to make. But he continues talking and says, but they pay me to catch these fly balls. And that is the point. Mookie Betts is one of the best right fielders, if not the best right fielder in all of Major League Baseball. Now, people are saying, hey, if they're going to go after Judge, should they go after Judge? Look, I'm, go for it. Go after Judge. But here's the point that makes no sense to me why this article makes me angry, Scott. Has anybody looked at the Dodgers outfielding depth chart? Like, there's nobody out there. It's Mookie Betts and question marks literally everywhere. I'm on board. Cody Bellinger should not be back next year, especially not at the number that he's due to make in his final year of arbitration. That would open up a spot in center field. You've got Chris Taylor, who had the worst season of his career as a potential outfield guy. You've got James Outman, who's a prospect, who, you know, showed some stuff, but also the, like, the prospect pedigree on him is not a guy that you're penciling in to hit 270 for his career. You've got Trace Thompson, who had the best year of his career, had an unbelievably high strikeout rate, struggled down the stretch, and has never really shown that that should be counted on what he did last year, although he does have a few years of team control. If you want to go into the prospect system, Andy Pajes is due to be added to the 40-man roster this offseason, but I don't believe he ever made it past Double A, so he's not a guy that the expected year of him arriving is, uh, is this year. He'll be on the 40-man roster. And so I, I just look at this and I say, all right, you need three outfielders, right? Unless they change the rules in 2023, you need three guys playing the outfield. The Dodgers have one. Even if they go and sign Aaron Judge, why are we talking about removing the one guy that they have who happens to be the best at his position in all of baseball? At a position, by the way, in right field that I believe is way more valuable than second base. Oh, by the way, they've got Gavin Lux, who is a top 20 player and wins above replacement playing second base. I don't think any of us want him playing shortstop. To me, it's like, why are we moving Mookie Betts to a position we already have coverage at in order to create more holes in the outfield? Like, 
Am I missing something? Because this makes no sense to me, Scott. No, no, you're 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 completely spot on. I think there could be something to be said. Like somebody can make a definite argument that's saying, yeah, we'd get somebody as athletic as Mookie Betts, you know, without the shift. You know, defense might become even more, that's you know, one. put on a pedestal now. So I think that's an argument to be had. But I'm re, you know, we're I'm not reaching here. I'm just giving at least some. I like to do that to give you some argument to it. Yeah. But Mookie Betts had a 15 defensive run saved in right field. I don't want to change that. But Aaron yeah. Judge played, like you know, he played a fine center field. Yeah. But Cody Bellinger, people want to talk about Cody Bellinger. Cody Bellinger wasn't much better. But I'd like to play more so. I think a lot of stuff was going on with Kelly, Cody Bellinger this past season. More than we understand. More than, the, you know, probably are led to believe. And that's just, I'm not bailing him out. I just think there was some stuff going on behind, behind the scenes just to play to his career numbers. Um and I think I would pay Cody Bellinger for, yeah. you know, honestly, I would just because of the uncertainty. I think they're going to be put in that bind. So I yeah. think when time push comes to shove, they I think they'll actually consider that non tendering yeah. him will be tough for me. I'll, I'll be honest with you, man. So yeah. I, but I agree with you the, the depth isn't there like it usually is. And yeah. just like we spoke about before, they the Dodgers usually will pursue to fill those spots with premier talent and they haven't really given the reins to young players in most recent years. You just haven't seen that. It's usually yeah. been filled by somebody early on. So it's definitely going to be interesting to see how they do that. Yeah, and the Bellinger one is a side conversation. I will wanted to add this because I do think it's important. I'm not penciling Aaron Judge in as the center fielder either, by the way. I know mm -hmm. he played like 70 or 80 games there for the Yankees. Yeah. <clears throat> played fine by all accounts defensively. Um, I, I, I agree with the people that are like a guy that big is probably not going to hold up all that well in a in a position as demanding as center field. If if anything, I would rather move Mookie Betts to center field. I think he could play that. Now, do you want to wear down his body a little bit more out there? <clears throat> I don't know. I think he could handle it. He's smart enough that I don't think it's going to like he's going to be just endlessly diving for balls in center field and destroying his body. But uh, to me, Judge can play left field. Mookie Betts can play right field. You plug a guy like Outman into center field who's going to yes. give you similar defense to Cody Bellinger, Trace Thompson, similar defense. Those guys are like B-plus defenders in center field, whereas Cody Bellinger, I would say, is an A-A-plus. But they're going to give you at least the same offensive output <coughs> output, excuse me, as Bellinger, but for way less money. So for me, I think that's part of it. Another guy we haven't mentioned, Michael Bush, is a prospect who's due to be um, added to the 40-man could he play some left field? Obviously, Chris Taylor's a guy who could play center field. So I think there's ways to shift this around. But to me, again, I just like Aaron Judge coming, connecting those dots to Mookie Betts playing second base. I just think a 30-second look at the Dodgers' depth chart would show you something. Like I understand the people that assume that if Aaron Judge comes and he's a right fielder, well, typically the Dodgers are loaded everywhere. So then what do we do with Mookie? Well, <clears throat> it's not typical. Look at the roster. Like, nobody no. trusts Chris Taylor. I don't think anybody wants to bet on a full season to Trace Thompson. Nobody wants to bet on a full season to James Outman or Andy Pajes or Michael Bush. And so, really, you've got one outfielder, again, that you feel good about. And by the way, you've got a second baseman that you feel good about already in Gavin Lux as well. So, lots more of this content to come. Lots more of these conversations. There's more stuff that has been thrown out into the, the interwebs over the last week or so about the Dodgers that we're going to have videos on. So stay tuned here, Dodger Blue 1958 on YouTube. This stuff's not coming quite as fast and as furious as it was during the postseason or the stretch run, but we will be posting videos throughout the week. So make sure you're subscribed here. Ring the notification bell. My name is Jeff Spiegel. That's Scott Gearman. We appreciate you guys joining us. As always, enjoy the rest of your day. And I know it's the World Series, and I'm going to say go Dodgers, but I think, Scott, it's safe to say I can also say go Phillies here, right? Like we're all, we're, we're all on the Philly bandwagon here. Oh, go Phillies. You know, that that I think I watched that Bryce Harper at bat live. And let me tell you, that was probably the most locked in clutch. Like I said, I tweeted it out. I was like, that man, that's the most locked in clutch postseason at bat I've ever seen. I oh, man, I'm so happy for Bryce. Let's do it. You know, go Phillies. Go Phillies, baby. Go Phillies. Yep. All right. Enjoy the rest of your day. Go Dodgers. And also go, go Phillies.